Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over Mac's second collection for Selena. I literally just put everything into my cart. I didn't get the little bag, the makeup bag, but I got everything else. So I can show you guys a demo, I can show you guys swatches of everything, and I can do some comparisons of things I already have in my collection. Let's start off with the Times 8 eyeshadow palette. Now, before I show you everything, I gotta mention the actual packaging, like this holographic, beautiful packaging. Selena across the front and then the rose embossing. It's beautiful. So I don't even know that I'm gonna throw away any of my boxes, because this is... I just love this, it's so pretty. The eyeshadow palette, which retails for $35, and yes, all of this is limited edition. When you open it up, you have this little plastic sleeve with Selena on it and her signature, and then of course it says MAC 2. But I love that they put this in here and they did it with the highlight as well. In the palette, the textures that you're getting are mattes, a frost, and two dazzle shadows. I was so excited to see those in here. When I opened up the palette, I didn't even know, like I didn't read anything about it, but I saw those, I was like, are those dazzle shadows? And of course they are. This one here and this one here. <sighs> I love that they put that into this palette. And it's not the Dazzle Shadow Extreme. These are like the original Dazzle Shadows. So you have the glitter and the dimension of the original Dazzle Shadows. And then the highlight, I think everybody was the most excited about the highlight and the lipsticks. This is what it looks like again on the outside and on the inside. <sighs> That's her again, I love that they did this. And then the rose, this is beautiful. It's an extra dimension skin finish and the color is gorgeous. It's this beautiful golden shade. Now you're going to notice that I'm not saying all these names. It's because I was trying to Google some of them. It's just like there's so much and I don't want to be disrespectful and accidentally say something incorrectly. So I'm just referring to things as the colors as I see them and I will mark everything with the correct name. So I hope no one's taken that as disrespect. It's just that I don't want to butcher it because I am dyslexic and then I see things just all weird anyway. I, I will see a letter that's not even there and it's, it's just it's just a mess. Anywho, getting a little off track, the highlighter is $37. There's three retro matte liquid lipsticks. One is nude, one is pink, and one is red. And each of these retail for $23. And then we have four lipsticks. Each of these retails for $20 a piece, and then you can see the components on them. The majority of it is a black. It has Selena written in silver, and then the top, the cap, is silver. And I'm gonna show you guys each of these colors. You have a light pinky nude, which is a cream sheen finish, a peach in a frost formula, and it has little gold specks in it. Then you have a deeper nude, it has a brown undertone, and it is an amplified cream. The last one is a matte finish, and it's a blue based red. Three lip glasses, $18.50 each. And I'm not even gonna lie to you, when I first saw these, I immediately thought of the Fenty Gloss Bombs, especially when it comes to the lightest one and the pink one. I'm definitely gonna be swatching my gloss bombs against these. Lastly, two lip pencils. Each of these retail for $19. One of them is kind of a deeper, kind of spicy looking nude. And then the other is a deep, deep pink. I originally thought it was going to be red just looking at it, but when I swatch it right here, it's definitely more of like a deep bluish pink. Let me swatch it against the liquid lip. I'm so mad at myself. Yeah, like that goes with the liquid lip perfectly, the pink one. I'm so mad at myself right now because <laughs> I went to take these to swatch against some of my other retro matte liquid lips and I don't have any of them anymore. But don't worry, I am still gonna be swatching these against other things that I have in my collection just so you guys can see for comparisons. Getting into the demo, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my eyes. Refer number one, starting off with this shade right here, placing that on the outer corner and going into the crease. Good amount of pigmentation. Working it up slowly into the transition area.
MAC 217 and the dark brown. I am going to further deepen up the outer corner as well as the crease. MAC 221 and the red. I'm going to see if I can add a little hint of this. In the outer corner, kind of keeping it there, halfway across the lid. Use the side of my brush to kind of pack it on. I'm going to grab the darker charcoal shade on the same brush. I just kind of wiped it off. Last time on the outer corner, I do not want to completely cover up that red. So just tapping on the very outer corner first. And I'm lightly going to bring it up into the crease. Again, I want to leave a little hint of that red. I'm just kind of going back and forth. Refer P21 and the pink sparkle. This is the reason why I wanted some of that red to still be peeking through so that it would kind of peek through this pink shimmer I was going to put on my lids. I want it to be a little bit more impactful on the front and just tapping over with the excess. Refer number three, going back in with the original color I used. Taking this right along the lower lash line, buffing it out. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this pink on the same brush. I'm gonna place that right on the front portion of the lower lash line. And then I am going to go add on mascara and liner. I finished off my eyes with Just Mascara Milk Boss Liner on the top inner rim, and then I actually took the darkest shade right here, which is not black, not brown, it's kind of like a charcoal, but it's very deep. And I used that right along my lash line, and then I stamped just a little bit right on the outer corner, and that finished everything off. Now, it is time to highlight. I really do not want to ruin this beautiful rose. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, but... A23, let's go. All right, this highlight is too dark for me on my <laughs> forehead. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff this away. That just, um, not good. I want to use a different color. And I am noticing a little bit of texture on here. So I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use my Linda Hallberg 306 and see if this melts it into the cheek a little bit better. So this is the shade of it. It's a little too dark for me. Like I know it's catching the light but it's also casting a little bit of a shadow. So, and it's it's just looking a little textured. I'm not, not loving this right now. So I'm gonna go in with something else. I'm gonna take my Dior palette and this obviously loved peachy shade. Cause I, I know you guys can see and I know it's reflecting, but this just has a little bit of texture that I'm not feeling, not feeling that. By Terry Powder, the Hydra in uh, the Rosy Light. This is the Sonia G Mini Cheek. I'm just gonna go right around the edges of that highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the lighter of the two liners, blending that into the lip about halfway. And then I'm going to top that with the lightest nude, which is a cream sheen lipstick. This is how that looks paired. And now I'm going to go in with the pink shimmer gloss. 
go right on top. This is the finished look. Now let's get into my feelings. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with the eyeshadow palette. It's kind of like good and bad. Quality wise, it's actually really good. I was impressed with the matte, really impressed. These have a lot of pigmentation to them. They blend it out immaculately. I am impressed. This palette is going to work on a wide range of skin tones because of the amount of pigmentation. I'm very happy with that. And I like the two Dazzle shadows that they put in here. I know I didn't use this one today, but I, I only didn't just because I felt like I would probably go along the route that I tend to go to, which is like this smoky, you know, natural tone. So I decided to go with the pink and they're beautiful. They're so beautiful. And even this shade right here, which a lot of times the frosts, don't work so well for MAC, but this one worked really nicely. I'm, I'm very happy with the quality of this palette. With that being said, I can dupe every single shade in here. This right here reminds me just straight out the gate, I thought of Let's Roll from MAC, the Dazzle Shadow, which I will compare side by side. But I'm just going to show you guys at the end all of the swatches side by side so you guys can make your own decision. If you're asking quality wise, it's there. It's beautiful, it's pigmented, it works really nicely. This is the type of quality that I like to see from MAC. It's just that I, I can dupe all of these. I do think though that my initial reaction to the colors of this in comparison to the original Selena collection, which had the singles, that one had the purples and then it also had some nudes as well, but looking at this and then remembering the other one, this is definitely different, still dupable. The highlight is pretty but it's prettier to look at, at least for me, because A, it's a little too dark for me, but I don't think it would be too dark for me during the summer months. I know that you guys can see like on, on here, you can see like the reflection, but it's a little too, it's just a little too dark for me. At least just a little bit of a cast and I really didn't like it on my forehead. And it just has a little bit of texture to it. That's, um, it's almost like it feels just like a little bit drier. And when I put it on my cheek, I definitely felt like I saw more texture than I wanted to. So this to me is just a collector's piece. I won't be using it, but I can see this looking nice on medium, tan, deeper complexions. It's going to be gorgeous, but it is going to add just a little bit of texture. More than what I've just, I've gotten so used to these really smooth formulas that even the slightest little bit of texture I tend to notice now, but it's just a little bit. It's not overwhelming. It's just a little bit of texture. The lipsticks. Obviously, I picked out my favorite. I love this type of color. This is so pretty, and I like the formula. Cream Sheens and Amplifieds, I personally do enjoy, but this is definitely a dupable shade. I don't think it's something you need to run out and get. It is really pretty, though. The one that I think is quite nice is this one right here, especially for deeper complexions. Oh my gosh, this would be so good. Ah, uh, that with like cork liner. Yeah, that would be really, really nice. This one I think is a little bit more special and it's because it's that frost and it has a little bit of glitter in there. Now I'm not particularly into the frosty finish on my lips personally, but this is a gorgeous color and I like the amount of pigmentation that you get out of it. It's really, really pretty. So I do think that this one is a little bit more unique. And then we have the last one, which is the deepest one. And it's also the only matte. This one reminds me of, gosh, I haven't even done my swatches yet, but this reminds me of like D for danger, or maybe it reminds me of glam. Oh, I'm very interested to see what this looks like up against. No, I think glam has a little bit more red to it. It's a pretty color, but again, dupable. They're, it's just dupable. I think the two most special shades are this one here, the more brown nude, and then the frost. The lip glasses. Now, like I said, these definitely remind me 
of the Fenty ones. These have just like a little bit more stick to them than what the Fenty ones do. I prefer the Fenty formula, but these are beautiful. I will get a lot of use out of these because these are just the type of glosses that I like to put on. And even with the shimmer, it's not too much. I think that these are gorgeous, but if I was gonna pick between these and the Fenty, I would pick the Fenty. And lastly, the two liners. I love the color that I put on today. I don't know what I was thinking. Just looking at it, I was thinking, oh, it's going to look like Whirl or something like that before I ever even swatched it. But it doesn't. It's really, really pretty. This liner will go really well with all three of the nudish or the peachy tone. It's going to go really well with all of them. And then this one, this is such a good one for the summer when I'm wearing those really bold pink lips that I love to do. It's gonna be great for that. But just overall, most of this is just stuff that you can dupe out. I wouldn't say that anything in here is extremely special other than Selena. Selena is extremely special, but the collection of itself I think is good quality. It's just gonna be up to you as to whether or not you feel like you need any of these shades or if you're feeling like you just wanna pick something up for collector's purposes. I don't judge, I'm definitely a collector, especially when it comes to collections with icons. It's like I just get a little bit more excited about them. But anywho, you guys stay tuned if you would like to see the swatches of everything side by side. Other things that I have in my collection, I'll have it playing right after I say goodbye. But before I do, please know that I love you. I hope all of you are safe and well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.